Uh, I was introduced to my friend Julia Becker through uh, her sister-in-law, my good friend, and she came and joined us in, to our Thursday night, Thursday morning dance. And then after we danced a few times, Julia mentioned this group, would I like to dance with them? And I said, sure, I'll try it. And it's grown from there. I heard that uh, there was a new person in town that was put, trying to put together an improv orchestra and I uh, got very excited. I, I love to improvise. I mean, that's the thing that really works for me. And I, I'm a painter and, a, and an artist. I'm a visual artist and I always improvise in my work. When I first came, I think I was way too loud because I was so excited. I was so enthusiastic. <laughs> and um, I think I was just way too energetic. And so I had to learn to kind of quiet down and listen and um, not be all about expression. I had done a bunch of dancing in Portland and was happy to uh, meet with some of my co you know, my local therapists in Missoula when we did the training with Jamie and they were interested and wanted to keep going. So I'm like, yay, we can do dance in Great Falls. So um, it's been going ever since. And we have some therapists, we have some musicians, we have some just people who want to move. I love doing improv ecstatic dance. It's really, it's so much who I am. I mean, it's probably more who I am than anything else. <laughs> uh, it, because, you know, it's that thing that makes when you know something makes you so happy, you know, and brings you so much into your deep soul, then you know that's the thing that, that you need to be doing. this orchestra um, as a way for to create like experimental music in Great Falls. The idea is based on the Scratch Orchestra, uh, which isn't something that I've that I've started, but it's uh, from the 1960s. It's a uh, type of orchestra where community members get together uh, from all you know all backgrounds, all skill levels, and they can play music together. This was really my first time working with a visual piece, uh, creating a visual piece like this. I've I've played graphic scores before um, by other composers, but they um, they never really spoke to me as much. Um, they were either too complex or too involved. I couldn't like latch on to. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't connect with them. So um, this piece began as I was researching some music theory and acoustics, um, doing some acoustics research, and uh, yeah, it just uh, it grew out of working with this group as well, so it just kind of made sense that we'd been working with text pieces, we'd been working with uh, limited notation, so I thought this would be a really good way to, um, to create some new ideas for us to play with. This is the shitty gucha. It's three pieces of wood, two metal strings, I guess they're guitar strings, right? These are, I think, are hex nuts from, you know, car repair. And it's amplified. And Janet can make the most amazing sounds out of the shitty gucha. I have instruments that I play, and I play them very like a wild animal. I mean, I, I just play them because I have to play them. And nobody hears me, and I'm just way out in the wilderness somewhere. 
when I, the, I came to the orchestra, I was able to awaken my love of sound, uh, my love of creating a sound that takes you someplace, that takes a hold of you and and you go somewhere new that you've never been before. And the wonderful thing about the orchestra was that Sam Cron and really everybody in the orchestra was so open-minded and they were, they were fine just without however the sound comes out of you, however, whatever sound is in the air. Like when we're playing at the bookstore, we have traffic, we have a creaky building with people walking around, we have people passing through the hallway. All those sounds become part of what we're doing. Um, so it opened up my, my love of music and making music in a way that was accessible to me. Really gives me a chance to get into my right brain. 